That trial in Minneapolis sparking a nationwide debate on police training with tasers. What type of safeguards are in place to try to ensure police use of the weapon that they intend to use? There are some, including the physical location of the weapon strapped to an officer's waist. Fox has more Stig spoke to law enforcement instructors about that and Morse is live in Northeast Atlanta. Morse, will agencies study what happened in Minneapolis? Certainly, it's the kind of incident that will get a review when people like the officers here at Zone 2 go in for annual training. Every officer has to go in for annual training. Now, there is extensive training for sure, but some of the safeguards, they just make common sense, such as this. The gun and the taser should never be on the same side of the hip. That is a duty belt the Atlanta officer straps on before going into his precinct for a roll call. Each will undergo an inspection to ensure the equipment, including the weapons, are where they're supposed to be on that belt. <laughs> equipment deployed correctly is front and center in a trial that's received national headlines. A Minneapolis police officer had her gun in hand and used it when she thought she'd fired her taser. That red dot pointing down should be enough to make the subject say, no, I don't want to take on that particular officer. If we have to swing around and now deploy that taser, we're screaming, taser, taser. That warning is customary. That, that warning, warning is very customary. Okay. I asked a retired sheriff supervisor and trainer of Fulton deputies to explain what safeguards are in place to keep an accidental draw from occurring. Departments instruct their personnel to position the gun by the dominant hand, usually on the right, and the taser on the opposite side. Plus, the weapons look different. The taser will have different color markings. The taser was to be placed on the opposite side so that you would have a cross draw and not mistake in pulling your weapon when you are actually trying to use less than lethal force. Your eyes are going to be trained on the situation, correct? Absolutely. Well, even in the most stressful situation, when you're going up against something high risk, you can differentiate between the two based upon how you have been trained muscle memory of which one to draw. Now, what they do here at APD when the recruits are in the academy, there's one thing that they want to make sure that they totally understand and what's involved when you use a taser. So they are tased themselves at least one time so that they have an understanding of what kind of power the taser has. It's certainly not a gun, but a taser can do what it's supposed to do, immobilize someone who is not complying. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Morse, thanks.